Welcome back. Renowned comedian Brad Williams is hitting the stage at the Peoria Civic Center tomorrow night for his new comedy tour with special guest J.B. Ball. I spoke with the comedian about what you can expect at the show. So can you tell us just a little bit about what people can expect on this tour from you? Uh, well, first of all, uh, thanks for having me. And uh, if you've seen if, if you've seen my specials, if you've seen clips of me on TikTok, it, it's a lot of energy. I've got ADD. I get bored very easily. So I'll be running around the stage. I'll be saying a joke. If you don't like one of my jokes, that's OK. Another one will be coming in about 30 seconds. So uh, uh, it, it's just nonstop. And also, you can expect a full show in that I have an opening act. His name is JB Ball. He's a headliner, but uh, he kills it. A lot of headliners do not have someone this good opening up for them because they want to shine more. I don't care. I want the show to be good from start to finish. <clears throat> so JB will get, he got a standing ovation last week, which is unheard of for an opening act. What I'm trying to say is some people don't realize that. Uh, they think it's like a band where it's like, oh, we can miss the opening act. It's fine. No, get there for the full show. Have the full experience. It's a roller coaster ride, and you're going to love it. Absolutely. And so can you kind of just take us through your journey and what it's been like to get to this point? Man. Uh, all right. Let's summarize a 20-year overnight success story. Okay. Um, well, basically, I got started in comedy uh, 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 20 years ago, as I said, but I was in the audience of a stand-up comedy show and uh, I was there with my dad and the uh, and the community on stage was making midget jokes. For those of you who don't know, dwarf. Uh, and uh, uh, everyone was laughing and the audience sitting around me was like, ha -ha, ha -ha, not laughing. And uh, the comedian noticed that and said, what is one of them here? And I raised my creepy little hand in the air and uh, he called me up on stage and he started asking me questions and I answered the questions honestly, I answered them genuinely. And my answers got laughs and literally that was the shot to the arm where I'm like, oh, this is awesome. And I thought, well, wow, that felt really good. And um, started looking up open mic nights the next day. And 20 years later, we're, 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 we're coming to Peoria to the home, the birthplace of Richard Pryor and 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 we're selling out theaters it's amazing definitely love that and so you've played a lot of big stages as well the tonight show jimmy kimmel live so what have those experiences been like um i don't like the tv sets i don't like them they're 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 seven minutes <clears throat> uh, maybe five minutes and they're completely clean so I I get why they're a necess they're, they're a necessity in terms of they get your word out they uh, in, they introduce you to new audiences but I like shows like I'm going to be doing in Peoria where it's an hour um, it's me on stage with freedom I can say what I want I can go where 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 I want if I have to adjust I can the obviously the language I can let a few more four letter words fly uh, and. I can have more fun. And so I know it's going to be probably an adult show. So what is your target audience and what do you want the audience to take away from your show? <clears throat> Man, every time I think I know my target audience, it changes. Um, I'll, I'll say there was because comedy clubs, they, they are pretty much strictly 21 and up. Uh, but theaters, I've seen a, a six year old at my show. Uh, and that's not even the youngest. The, the youngest was a two-week-old baby, but uh, uh, which probably wasn't the best idea for that parent. I'm pretty sure that kid needs to develop an immune system. Uh, but like, uh, like uh, pe 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 people keep bringing their kids, and every time I see a kid, I'm just like, hey, do not repeat the words I'm saying uh, at school to your to to authority figures, to adults. Um, so don't do that. But you know that's their that's their parents' decisions. But so I don't really say I have a target audience. I, I've seen all races, all ages. It, it's just kind of like anyone that likes funny. I um, mean, and, and anyone who likes funny that I'll, I'm honest with people. I'm not a G-rated comedian. If you want, it, with, if you want to have someone say some things that you would get fired for for saying at work, great. Buy, buy a ticket to my show. I believe there's still a few tickets avail available in Peoria. So by all means, get some tickets and uh, come experience this.